Fruits Basket and ReZero are two of my favorite anime of all time, but they are very different, at least on the surface. ReZero is an isekai fantasy supernatural with a ton of suspense and mystery. Fruits Basket is a drama with a touch of supernatural and also some mystery. They appear to be completely different if you look at it this way, but if you start looking at the characters and the message, I think you'll find that they have a lot in common. At a high level, they're both about characters thrown into a world filled with the supernatural they don't understand. It just so happens that for ReZero, this is literally another world, while Fruits Basket, it's the Soma Clan. This leads to a lot of mystery, and they both convey the feeling that there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know at first. And part of the reason the shows are both so great is I want to see this, and it's so much fun uncovering the mysteries. Also, some minor spoilers for both these, though no big plot twists. Anyway, one of the overarching similarities is how they are both about broken characters coming together to support each other. You have Toru, who seems to have like everything put together and is reaching out out of love to the Somas. But she also has her fair share of issues. And the show is all about showing how both Toru and the Somas need each other to grow and heal and become the people that they want to be. And then in ReZero, we see the relationships that Subaru builds. Like, you see how messed up Subaru is. And he needs people like Rem and Amelia. But Rem and Amelia also have their own issues, though they are good at hiding it, at least at first glance. Granted, the rest of the cast is also messed up in their own ways, and you start to see these relationships develop, but it's not quite to the degree that you see a Toe and the Somas. Yet. But... You see that Subaru keeps trying to reach out, keeps trying to help everyone, even though he's completely in over his head. But this fits Toru as well. He wants to reach out to others, even if she doesn't know how. But through her kindness and determination, she gets through them, and in many ways, Subaru does as well, showing the similarity there between the two of them. And I feel like Toru and Rem have a lot in common specifically, with them always able to see the good in the people they are around. This, for Rem, is mainly with regards to Subaru, and with Toru, it's everyone, but this could also be how the story is structured. And this ability to see the best in people is what lets them change people's lives. Subaru would not be the person he is, or do the things that he has done, without Rem being there, loving him during his lowest point. And Toru has touched the lives of so many people around her. The entire cast is a better person because of Toru. In fact, I'd even say the viewers of Fruits Basket are that way. They are better people because of Toru. So yeah, Toru and Rem, both incredible. Then you have some of the side characters also being sort of similar. Like you have Momiji and Felix, both fun-loving characters who dress girlish despite being a guy. But they also have a more serious side too and have gone through a lot. And they also both have a very strong desire to protect the ones they love and will do anything to protect them. They are so precious. Then you have Chikre and Roswell, both characters who seem to have some sort of grand ambition and they seem to be guiding things behind the scenes to get what they want, but at this point, we the viewer don't exactly know what that is. They're also both manipulating the main character for whatever that desire is. They're, yeah, very twisted too. Both things that I'm sure that the characters would readily admit. And they both make me want to see what is their actual plan and will it work or will it all fall apart? Well, maybe we'll get some of those answers soon. Then you could also compare Hattori and Wilhelm, both who struggle with losing the one they love, and that has burned them quite a lot. But then you have the main characters help them through that, though in different ways. Then there's the similarity in their message, and I think this is where it gets really interesting. I've talked about the message of Fruits Basket quite a lot through a couple of videos on Season 1 and 2. And there's a lot of depth and nuance that I'm not going to get into here, but I think at its core, the message is that you should fight together with those around you to change your life. And I feel like this could also fit ReZero, though there's also a lot of nuance here as well. The message is to struggle against fate with the help of others. And we've seen this through Subaru and his failures this season. He's been struggling, but constantly failed. And this is because he's tried to do so alone. The message of the season is for him to accept the help and love for those around him. And who could forget the line from ReZero? Love yourself more. 
It's so simple, but so true. Subaru sees himself only as an instrument for other people's happiness, not pausing to consider himself. So he suffers horrendously, which is painful not just for him, but for those who love him and see him suffering. This reminds me of what Kisa was told back in season one, that she should love herself more. But there is portrayed as a negative. Yuki got mad that she was told it. And this is because for Kisa, she could not love herself. She hated herself. She thought the blame for all the suffering she went through was on her. What Kisa needed in that moment wasn't to love herself more. That was impossible. But for someone to understand her, she needed someone who had been there, who understood her suffering, and then she could accept their love and start to love herself. Subaru, in a way, is past the point where Kisa was when he heard those words. In a way, what he was going through was something impossible for anyone to completely understand. But he had found those who could, who he did not have to hide from. Though he wanted to keep pushing forward anyway, not thinking of himself, no matter how many times he died. And he had a noble desire to help others, which is good. But he had forgotten himself. In a way, he's like Kisa here. Locking his heart away, not letting others touch it. But he's also locked his heart away from himself, not caring about himself. And when he was told to love himself more, those words carried a powerful connotation that he wasn't alone. I loved how he looked back at those who said that, how he could see that they wanted the best for him, and that they were with him, even if they couldn't be physically. And I feel like as messed up as these characters would be, they truly cared about him. So Subaru and Kisa's stories are kind of the same here. They are in a dark place, but they found those who understood and those who gave them the strength to feel the love and then love themselves. And I think it's also interesting how they're both done so from a group of messed up characters. I mean, you know how messed up they are on ReZero, and Yuki and Teru have their fair share of issues too. But I think this is a good message for life. You can be loved and encouraged by those who have problems because, well, we all do. And that doesn't stop them from giving you the strength to move forward. Another similarity is how both shows handle romance. And that's how you would think it'd be the center point, but it's hardly there at all. Like ReZero is a harem. Fruits Basket is a reverse harem. But you would think that a big focus would be on who would the main character end up with. And well, there's this to a point, it is very intentionally not the focus, because that's not what the focus should be in life. Fruits Basket is the story of the Somas and Tobu growing together. And yes, they might find love along the way, but that's not the main point. And ReZero is all about Subaru's journey through this world. And yes, he may find love. I hope he does. He deserves it after everything he goes through. But again, that's not the point. The point is something far grander than that. And I like this message. Because, yeah, love is great in life. If you find someone you love, fantastic. But there's so much more to life. So, yes, these two shows are truly amazing. They are filled with some of the darkest storytelling I've seen, showcasing how terrible humanity can be. But they also show the best of humanity and how we can rise from our scars. They aren't shows just content to be watched, but they challenge the viewer, demand that they live a better life. They are filled with emotions of suffering, but also joy. And there also shows more than worth your time, so go check them out. And let me know what you thought of this video. I'm curious. It's something very different, but I've had it in mind for a while, and I'm glad to finally make it. I recorded this three times, though, because, well, apparently my computer did not like to cooperate tonight. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.